Mike just got some meat. The black buck doe made a great shot. Thank you. 200 yards. Yeah. Busted the dust off of our wagon, so to speak. Here it is. This is what we need to do right here. Some good old clean black buck doe blood. That's the outlaw I know right there. This is like a rally cap. This is like a real Indian style rally cap right here. Black buck doe. Black buck doe. Right here. Hey, 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 as y'all can tell, we have been out in the woods a little too long. We finally shed blood. This is gonna be delicious meat for Mike. I know he'd been wanting to get a doe when he got an extra special doe, because that's a black buck doe. They're extra tasty. Now it's time to get a game plan together. Hopefully me and J-Bone over here can, can take one down as well. Here's the deal, y'all. Uh, we're separated for the first time on this hunt, and uh, I'm gonna be going up in this tree. Oh, Brad here behind me, uh, he's a property owner. He's setting up some two by fours up in here to actually sit. This ladder is so old that it's actually grown, the tree's grown around it. Been here since 1967. 1967. I said about 50 years, so yeah. it's pretty close. So orientation-wise, where I am is probably about four or five hundred yards from the other guys. There's a creek in between us, and Brad thinks that they're feeding right here, and they're going over there too, and they're going back and forth. So we decided to divide and conquer. I don't know if these monster bucks are going to come here, but. There's definitely a lot of activity here, according to Brad. Set the cameras earlier, so traditional, old school, just up in a tree, get an old ladder. I think you're good, brother. I like it. Thanks, Brad. You're good. Just got settled in the tree. It's looking pretty good. I love this setup. I love hunting in trees, bow hunting in trees. It just, that's my favorite way to hunt. There's some black bucks and stuff roaming around on this ranch. So something's gonna come in for sure. We'll get it on camera, but. <sighs> Last day, it's been an up and down journey. We're all set up now. I got the mask on, ready to roll, but it's still early in the day. It's three. So here's the plan. If a doe comes in early, no, I'm not gonna shoot it. I'm gonna wait for something to come in, something a little bigger. There's some gold bucks out here, and there's some bigger bucks out here. But if it gets in that last hour of the day, and there's just some does walking around here, I'm definitely gonna shoot one. That is the plan. I can't go home empty-handed. OSG would not be happy. Especially, this is like the fifth day being gone from Emmy and OSG, so I'm missing them. I'm ready to get home, but I don't want to go home empty-handed. I want to go home with some freezer meat and hopefully a nice uh, nice set of antlers to put on, on the tree house, but it doesn't happen every time. That's on. So I got extremely lucky at the beginning of the year shooting uh, a really, really nice old mature eight point. That's kind of relaxing me. I don't have the, the pressure on myself. You know, I got my biggest buck ever there, so uh, I really just want to get something at this point. But if big boy comes walking through, <laughs> I'd be glad to pull the trigger, so we'll see. That male black pup came in. He's literally smelling those does. He's trailing them right now. He keeps putting his head up and he's, <laughs> he's following their exact trail. It's kind of crazy. They like to round them up, keep them, keep them together. I've got about an hour left until I'm going on just all out whatever doe or call buck comes out, I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> First thing that comes out, because we're running down to the wire here, but something. 
Something's gonna happen. I just got a text from Outlaw saying that the big deer that he saw yesterday that we all saw that we've been chasing and skirting and running around, sitting and waiting. He came in and he's down. <sighs> Man, I wish I could go celebrate with the guys right now, but I'm over here, I'm sitting in this tree, so they're like 500 yards away. I'm really, really hoping there's a, a call bug, a six point, that I almost had a shot at this morning. He was about 64 yards away and he had some does with him. He's being real skittish and actually kind of he looked like he was in pre-rut. Um, oh, there's a doe wagger back behind me, coming into the field. Down there by that goat feeder, there's a doe moving. She's coming into the field right now. Oh, there's more. There's a bunch of them. This could be the group that has the six point with them. They're not coming up here though. That coming. I was hoping that was going to be the group of does that had that six point with them. It kind of looked like it, but I never saw him. I'm going to get the binoculars and, uh, and keep looking in this creek bottom and get in position because it could happen any minute. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Does are running in. They're running in. From where I saw them earlier, I'm going to put the camera down. Hopefully, they're going to come to the feeder.
Well, I don't know if y'all could see that, but uh, big old Texas Longhorns came in. They scared off the deer and then uh, the wind shifted. They scared them off into the woods and then the wind was at my back. So then they started getting real, real skittish and they could smell me for sure. They just never would settle down and start start eating. They came in under that uh, pecan tree and fed a little bit, not enough to get, uh, get a draw. However, my boy, J-Bone, they're going to get some lighting equipment right now and there's a deer around here somewhere that's down that we're gonna go check out. That is massive. I'm about to go give you guys a glimpse of this big monster buck that Outlaw Shop just got, just got back with the guys. They haven't walked up on the deer yet. Um, they said it was, they just told me the whole story. I just want to see this deer. Is that him right there? Yep. That's him. Oh. On the stump, dude. On the stump. We were in a stump. Freaking died. Oh, that's so big! He's so big! Oh my gosh, he's so big! He's freaking giant. Dude! Dear goodness. Dear goodness, literally. Dear goodness. Put that on a daggum t shirt. Oh my gosh. Dude. Dude, stick it at him! <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Holy. He is a cow. Giant. Well, man, I wish I was with you guys. We wish oh, you man. were with us. We wish you were with God. us, trust me. That's the first thing we said. But we That's had to awesome. split up to try to get her done. We used our last ditch effort, man. God, can I touch him? Touch him, dude. I dude, haven't touched him, man. Look at the brows. Like, look at the brows. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Oh my God. Okay, y'all. We shot him out of stump and he died on a stump. We spent many days inside of that stump, y'all. Make sure, subscribe to Mike, subscribe to Outlaw. Go watch the video of that one. I unfortunately missed it. I will be watching it as well. Until then, I'm an Aggie and I hate Longhorns and uh, it pretty much proved true today. Dead gum. See you guys on the next one.